Hi, my name is Mark and today I'm going to go through a few websites that makes it possible to read articles that you didn't think was possible. So in this case I chose Medium as a test source and here's a, a little article that you can't read before you pay Medium. And I do think Medium is a beautiful, clever platform that really enables good writers to actually have a career there and make a bit of money on writing well-written articles and not just AI articles. So I do urge you to subscribe to this. Uh, it's a beautiful website. But in case you don't read much and you're curious about, is it possible to see a website like this that has a paywall, but you don't want to pay for it? Let's say you're a student and you can't afford it but you still are depending on articles to write content. I don't know what your real reason would be to actually do it, but I found it interesting um, because I, I like that people find ways to code through this because eventually it's going to make security much better when we know this. But let me show you what you can do. If you take a link that, that refers to Medium, I copy this now. I'll just right click it and say copy. and I found a website called Freedium. This I just found with a mere Google search. How to bypass a paywall. So Freedium is apparently directed exactly to uh, medium readers, but you type in your and you can even support them because again, someone doing a code that can show other people that their paywall can be made even better. Now you can paste your link in and when you click go, it actually goes to that website. Then I was wondering, as a student would probably like this, why doesn't it do it automatically? Because you can see it doesn't make sense. I can't click follow here because it's just going to go back to medium and every, any medium thing is going to get referred. So, and the reason why it gets referred is because I found an option. So you can go into any plugin site and find the, the plugin for your browser called Tamper Monkey. They found to be very helpful in um, adding as an extension. So all I did was just write Tamper Monkey Firefox because that's the browser I'm using. And as you can see, I've already been on this and I clicked here, add. When that's added, it's actually under this little puzzle piece and it's down here. If I click that, I'm now able to say, I want to create a new script. Hard part. I actually have saved a script. Let's see. This is the script. So I have actually saved this. I'm going to mark everything, delete it, and I'm going to paste this in. Now you can see this script actually transform every little bit a piece of link that has something that starts with medium.com. So what it really says here is that it, it's a f function in Firefox when activated. If a window starts with a new link and the new link has anything to do with um, medium, then it, ref it replaces it to freedom. And yeah, it's I'll, I'll, I'll put this script down below if you want to use it. Um, but this will do this thing here. What, what you actually had to do here when you actually did put in the code, let's put it in again. We'll delete everything and paste it in. So what you do is you, you go up here and you say save. And when that's saved, it's already saved in your, uh, in your Tampa monkey. So, and it's as long as Tamamung is, is running, it's going to just run all scripts. So this means if I go into taking this, which is now again locked, right? There's a paywall here because I clicked before I added Tamper Monkey. So I'm going to do like this and paste that in. And you're going to see it says medium.com in the beginning of it. But wait and see, that's going to change. Look at this Freedom CFD. And then it writes the address for that. So one, if you don't want the plugin, you could always just rem remember this little part, freedom.cfd, and then put it in in front of any medium link 
and you're able to see the article in its full length. Of course, again, I would say please support Medium. This is just a show for um, information purposes only, but I wanted to give you this opportunity to see how it's done. And there's other, play, other websites out there that are made for people who maybe can't afford this. So this was specially directed to students uh, or people uh, on, a, uh, on a low budget that is below the poverty line. I think maybe, uh, I don't think it's going to hurt anyone that you try to research in here, maybe how to get a job, because you can go to Medium and search for how to find a job. But you only have one problem now. Anytime you go to medium.com, it's going to go like this. And that's the problem. So what do you do if you want to reverse it? You can go down here, click the puzzle piece up here, go down there and say, uh, let's say we can, we can manage extensions here and I can scroll down and find it and I can turn that off. It means if I go to mediumnow.com, I can then go there, subscribe and so, such. So that's how you activate it, deactivate it, if you don't want to use it all the time, or you're just like me, wanted to test it out. Anyways, guys, my name is Mark Barner. And for information purposes only, I gave you a little bit of insight. You can find more on macgenie.com. Uh, here you can hire us as uh, technicians or any tech stuff you have. If you want anything created like a website or other things, you can go to Barner Design.